The Best Part of Me, Children Talk About Their Bodies in Pictures and Words by Wendy Ewald. The Best Part of Me, Children Talk About Their Bodies in Words and Pictures by Miss Lord's 3rd, 4th, 5th grade class. Photos by Wendy Ewald. The Best Part of Me, the best part of me is one of several projects I developed in collaboration with teachers and students in the Durham, North Carolina public schools. The work was part of Literacy Through Photography, a program I originated at the Center of Documentary Studies at Duke University to use photography as a starting point for writing. Over the past few years, photography has gotten more and more interested in the human body and in issues that arise when portraying children. I became curious about how the children regarded their bodies. In working as an artist and a teacher, I often ask people to create self-portraits in writing or photographs. Many times I've heard children describe themselves and their kinships with others in terms of parts of their bodies. I have mom's eyes, one of my students from Kentucky told me. They're real little. I asked second through fifth grade students at Club Boulevard Elementary School to choose the parts of their bodies they liked best or that explained the most about them. Then, using a view camera so I could focus as closely as I needed, I took a Polaroid picture of each child. The child and I then looked at the photograph together and discussed changes in composition or background that might reflect the child's vision of him or herself. Once we were satisfied with the image, the child took it back into the classroom and worked with Lisa Lord, an extraordinarily gifted writing teacher. Once we decided to make a book of the photographs and writings, I asked the students to help me design and title it. Beverly Benton chose her back and her hair and likened herself to a Barbie doll. Tim McCoy asked me to photograph his chest because he depended on it, he said, to protect himself. Although Tremica Davis and Colette Costner both chose their hands, they decided them they described them differently. Tamika's description alluded to the work they'd done, Colette's to the graceful protection and magic her hands brought her. When I looked at the assembled pictures and text, I was startled by how revealing they were about the individual students and about how the different cultural groups conceived of their their bodies and thought about them. It's my hope that this book will give children a chance to talk about their bodies and share their candid sense of themselves with adults for whom intimacy and familiarity, what is plainly visible, are often at odds. My eyes are brown and black, big and round. I see lots of colors around. I see me, I see you. I like my eyes. I should not be surprised. I see your eyes, I see my eyes, I know my eyes can see within me. Without eyes, you couldn't see not one tree, you couldn't see not one eye, you couldn't buy. The eye is good, the eye is mad, when you are mad, it can seem very sad. By um, something Elliot. I like my feet because I painted the toenails and because I cut them not too short and not too long. Mosquitoes like my legs, blood. I take after my dad because they like his blood. I have long legs. I picked to put my feet on leaves because I like to play and I couldn't run and play without them. Signature, Martha Benton. My hair. I like my hair. It's long, black, and wavy. If you look real close, you can see red streaks. It comes from my Mexican heritage. It's wavy like the ocean, by Camilla Villasana. I need my arms to pick up my little brothers and throw them on the bed, but when they get up and they try to kick me in my head when I'm sleeping in the bed, but they can't as long as I have my arms over my head. Chris Ice Mitchell. Sometimes I can move my teeth. Sometimes my grandma can move her teeth too. Did you know baby teeth are smaller than permanent teeth? I can bite and eat with my teeth. I have sharp teeth. So does a shark and my cousin Laura. Alondro Esposa. My hands. I like my hands because they turn the pages of a book slowly and magically. 
Reading makes me happy. They wipe my eyes when I am sad. They threaten the things that make me mad. They pull the covers over my head when I am scared. They feel my forehead when I am sick. They write what I am writing now. They touch the precious earth and ground. They dance, they act. They're slender and unique. They're mine, that's all. Slender and unique. Colette Costner. My Hands by Tameka Davis. Oh, my hands, my old wrinkled hands. Can't you see the triangles in both of them? In the picture, I have on two real rings, I pla one plastic ring and one fake tweety ring, bird ring. I have no ring on my thumb. My hands are big, I say strong. I lift some things that are heavy. Maybe that's why they're big and ugly. The reason why my nails aren't long is because I bite them off. I write with my right hand, but if write with my left, it looks sloppy. See, the reason why I chose my hands is because I like them even if they are big and ugly. My elbow. My elbow is like a little circle. I'm using my elbow when I'm mad. I put my hand on my waist and my elbow sticks out. My elbows are on a table when I'm writing or reading. I like my elbows because I play with my elbows when I jump rope by Mary Garcia. Tim McKay, chest, chest, you're the best. I like to rest on you, oh yes, I wake up. I depend on you to protect my body too. Chest, chest, you're the best. You're a big success, you might be the best in the West. Chest, chest, you're the best. The Knee Poem. A scar, the scar, is a circle. Some designs like lines and stripes, long legs, summertime, taken in the summertime. Background is the grass. Hard legs, legs are hard. My sweater is under my legs. I can jump good with these knees. These knees are Hispanic by Laura Molina. Matthew Colberth. The reason I took a picture of my face is because my mom says that I look like her because my mom thinks that I have nice eyes. Sometimes I like to squint my eyes when I am in the sun. My eyes are light blue as my mom's are blue too. My hair is the same as my mom's, dad's, and my brother's. My back. I picked my back because if I didn't have my back, then I couldn't move because everything counts on my back. And I put hair in the picture because I like my hair. I can put barrettes in my hair and I can braid it. My mom braids my hair a lot. She says I am her little Barbie. My hair is longer than my short sleeve shirt by Beverly Benton. My Wonderful Legs by Andrew Legg. Legs, legs, you carry me a long way. You hold me up when I'm out to play. Legs, legs, you're so strong so that I'm able to run very long. You get very tired when I rollerblade, but you still go on. That's how strong you are made. You don't get hurt e very easily. I just hate when people call you measly. My neck. I love my neck. My neck holds the beautiful necklaces that I wear. I love my neck because it's not too big or not too small. It is just right for me. I love my neck for all the things it can do. It connects to my lovely face and to my strong body. It holds my head. I like my neck. That is why it is the best part of me. All mine. When I pray, my hands overlap. In the sun, they shine. The color of my hands is toasty brown. These beautiful things are mine. By Nadia Hussein.